Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest says, your life should be defined by how much you positively impact others. And she exudes that every single day. In her new book, You Can Lead, 30 Life Lessons to Empower the Leader Within, she gives you a how-to guide on how to do just that. I recently had the honor of sitting down with author and former president of my sorority, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, Dorothy Buchanan Wilson. Take a look. My friend, my soror, soror, Dorothy Buchanan Wilson. Welcome to Sister Circle Well, thank Live. you so much. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm yes. so excited. Yes, awesome, thank awesome, you. awesome. So we got to get into this book. And one of the things that you talk about is that leaders are made and not born. Tell me a little bit about that and why you believe that is to be true. Well, I think when you talk about leaders, we always hear that leaders are born and that you need a certain skill set or a certain amount of talent to be a leader. Well, I know based on my experience and based on the experience of others that uh, leaders are made primarily by the experiences that shape your life. Yes. Um, a lot of the young people that we know and a lot of us as young people, we were entrusted with responsibility as family members, mm -hmm. um, whether it's taking care of our younger siblings or taking care of the house while our parents worked. And so those were the foundation blocks for early leadership experiences. And yes. so it, that's why I, I base my book and, and my thought on the fact that leaders are indeed made because we have a lot of experiences that kind of stack on and build on each, on each other. Yeah. And that's what ultimately helps you with your leadership success. Yes, and it helped you tremendously. You alluded to, you know, being the head of a household and you actually did that. Yes. At 14 years old, you yes. were raised by your grandparents, 34 grandchildren, and you were the one that really, really uh, kind of catapulted yourself and you give all the credit to your grandparents. Tell us how that was for you and how it developed into this beautiful woman that sit next, sits next to me today. Thank you. Um, a part of my story that I like to share is the fact that at the age of, actually started at the age of 11, 11. but by the time I was 14 was when my sister kind of moved away. And then that did mean that there were three very young siblings in a household with two very frail grandparents. And so a part of that, um, help, having to help with them, having to basically help manage the household, um, that really influenced me early in, because I've learned how to accept responsibility, mm -hmm. how to take care of others, but more importantly, how to make crucial decisions. Yes. And that's a big part of the whole leadership piece, which is making decisions, taking care of your staff, taking care of your people, um, but more importantly, understanding how things work mm -hmm. and how to make things work. I mean, that was a part of my journey. And so I would say probably my foundation block started at the age of 11 or 14, however you want to look at it. Uh, but certainly it started with my grandparents, um, Mr. Lucius Wilson, who instilled in us um, how to be confident, yeah. even as youngsters, to take care of major responsibilities. And then that, that I would say that comfort translated into him saying to at least those of us who were living with him, mm -hmm. I think someone needs to go to college. We were a family of very hard workers, but we weren't in necessarily a college educated family. My grandfather basically put that into play wow. and I entered college with the confidence primarily because I've been doing so much for five years in high school, mm -hmm. helping to run the household. So it was easy for me to make that transition to go to college yeah. and to be successful. Yes, yes, yes. And you have been highly successful 30 years in corporate and nonprofit. How did that coming from where you came from, then you go into this corporate space and nonprofit space, leading an entire sorority. How did that help you to create or become the leader that you have become today? And what have you learned from those experiences? I think uh, back to the earlier premise of everything adds. I actually was educated at two very wonderful historically black colleges and universities, um, Benedict College, my undergraduate degree, and then Clark Atlanta University right here in Atlanta yes. for my master's degree. And I would say that th those two experiences of being in that environment where we were nurtured um, and supported thoroughly for six years definitely helped me have the confidence mm -hmm. to come out and to pursue a corporate career. Um, and I did pursue some very serious corporate opportunities, both at Xerox Corporation at SC Johnson Wax, and then later on in the nonprofit arena at Goodwill. And in those positions, I learned that um, definitely your foundation, your your support system, your basically what you bring to the table 
Um, those things are all important, but basically being there and having a voice and be, not being afraid to use your voice yes. um, to not only advocate for what you think is right, not only in the workplace, but just for women and others who are there with you in general. Um, and then all of those experiences rolled up helped me to move into the position of international president of Alpha Kappa Alpha. And again, that is a very, um, even though it's, a, it's an organization that's about service, it's an organization that has a lot of infrastructure and Absolutely. process. It's a business. And so those skill sets were transferred there, um, and I was able to do so much with the over 300,000 members and volunteers um, because we were able to move forward as a collective body. And I had, and I brought that basic, that nonprofit, mm -hmm. as well as that executive level skill set to the table. Oh, we saw it, and we <laughs> loved it. It was absolutely impeccable, Thank impeccable you. leadership. Thank you. And but you believe that you, everybody can lead, mm -hmm. which is why you wrote, yes. "You Can lead. lead." You have a lot of pointers in your book. Mm -hmm. What are two or three that stand out to you the most that are easily re relatable to the everyday person? Right. I do believe that everyone can lead, and that's why the book is written from the standpoint of the reader. Mm -hmm. You know, you can lead. It's not about me as a leader. And uh, three major points I would say is, number one, definitely make sure that you understand that you make a difference. So when you come to the table with your unique skill sets and your experiences, that you can be that difference, and you can make the difference, and you can have the impact. Um, not only locally, but certainly globally as well. So that's number one. Number two, um, I think in today's society, it's important that leaders understand that you must be not only savvy in um, people management skills, but that whole technology piece. You have to you be. Know, I, you know, I, I said there's a whole chapter on um, being a techie and not being afraid to own that because yes. you need to understand not only where the technology is, but where it's headed. Mm -hmm. um, and how do you integrate those, those skills into your overall leadership style? And then the third thing that I think is important for us um, as um, as leaders, it's understanding that you must pay it forward. Yes, you know a lot was poured into us as young people, as young leaders, and we benefited from it tremendously. Now we have to make sure that we're imparting that um, into future generations. And so a big part of what I'm talking about is I'm going out, talking about you can lead is saying, pay it forward, invest in others, whether it's mentees that you're working with or young people or those in your community, but be willing to take those same, um, I say those same lessons, those same lessons in nurturing, um, making sure that you're successful, and then putting that forward into that next generation yes, of leaders. Absolutely. If we don't invest in them, it won't happen. So that whole idea of paying it forward is a big part of the message of this You Can Lead Tour. Yes, and I'm so happy you mentioned the You Can Lead Tour because you you have got a couple of dates coming up right. that we want people to make sure if you're in those cities to go and catch this amazing woman live and in person so you can talk about this book and, and really impart some more knowledge right. to the everyday person. Person. Uh, where will you be on the 28th? Uh, Houston, Texas is where we will be. I um, certainly would like to have the, your viewers join us there uh, where we will be talking in that city about, in the format is we, there's a presentation with a lesson from the book, and then we have a, a very animated, lively discussion about mm -hmm. that lesson, um, and then take questions and answers from the audience, and then I sign books and take pictures. Yes. So it's not just a meet and greet. It really is a lot of information being shared yes. in that city. Good. Well, I'm, I'm really glad that you're using your time wisely because you've been leading us for the last four years and now you get a time to, to yes. breathe and do you. Yes, I sure do. <laughs> yes, Thank you. Yes, well, we certainly are so glad that you've come down to the circle to share your knowledge and I get to be in the presence of royalty right. and I held her hand. Right. And thank you for what you do. Oh. Um, you have a wonderful platform and you're using it to elevate women but more importantly to spread positive messages thank about you. what we do and what we're capable of. So I appreciate you having me here to talk about You Can Lead. Thank you. See, look at this. This is royalty as she said that about me yes dorothy buchanan wilson thank you so much for your time today we appreciate you thank and you. continue success on everything thank you so much You're appreciate welcome. being here <laughs> could you tell i was happy about it yes. Very oh, yes. 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 it was a wonderful yes. interview thank you kindly i appreciate it such an honor do yourself a favor and pick up a copy of dorothy's book you can lead 30 life lessons to empower the leader within and to find out more about her and her book tour please follow her at d buchanan wilson